I was in Paris at the time of the final. My parents were actually at uh, the Stade de France to watch the final. I was in Brazil in 1998. I remember watching the game without any furniture on, on our house because we only had the TV. So then we had the TV on and then we were sat on the, on the floor watching the, the game. We were, I think, not that confident to, uh, to win because we were facing Brazil with uh, such an uh, armada of uh, great players. In 94 was when, when we won it. And then I was expecting, okay, 98, this is us again, you know, we're going to win it. Maybe, you know, on paper, they, were, they had the best team. Playing in France, the atmosphere was something I've never experienced again in my life. There was a lot of speculations behind Ronaldo. Ronaldo was considered to be the best player in the world at the time, so playing against him and against his team was such a big thing. It was like a mixed feeling because uh, when you have like such good players, you want to see them on the pitch. There are all those conspiracy theories about the fact that you know, Ronaldo was sick. Obviously, a World Cup final, all the pressure was on his shoulders. So much coming and erring over the possible participation or otherwise of Ronaldo. And I believe that maybe it was a few hours before the finals. They say, OK, finally, he's going to play. But maybe 10 hours before, we thought that he was not going to play. 20 minutes or half an hour before the match starts. And then his name was on the sheet again. But uh, watching the game after, uh, I don't know, maybe not 10, but after 20 minutes, you just uh, realize that he was not himself. In the first 20 or 25 minutes, we played an even football. Zidane was just a pure magic. Such an addition to the team. You know that Zidane, it was like one move, he, he could change the game. So just before the 30th minute, we had Zidane score the first goal. Zidane! Lift up the France! Really weird, actually, for Zidane. He was not used to score with the head. And the man they love to call Zizou has given France the perfect start. Even when he scored the first goal, I was like, OK, fine, that's fine. They score a goal, you know, let them be happy for a moment because we're going to come back. And then just before halftime, he scores again. Zidane! Lightning has struck twice. There uh, were we two goals ahead. France was not expected to be scoring anything against Brazil, or let alone have 1-0 or 2-0. Two, two new down, first half, World Cup final in France against against France. It's, oh man, this is a, a impossible mission to come back. So I remember the second half, then was like pulling my hair. I think Ronaldo wasn't playing well, you know, was coming back very slow. They didn't seem into the game, they, they seemed a, a bit lost. Midway to, uh, the, to the second half, when uh, the Sai got the red card, that was a bit a game changer. And then when the red card came, I thought, OK, this is it now, this is us, we can do it. But we need it to score in the next five minutes. No way, man. It's like they try everything they could. And obviously the third the third goal was to seal the deal for, for France. Petit's goal was completely unexpected. It was in the last minutes because it was in the additional time that was given. Vieira, Emmanuel Petit, three. I remember Petit running on the left-hand side and then he just he tapped the ball. The ball went on the left-hand side of Tafarel. He couldn't do anything. It's like uh, we say it was la cerise sur le gâteau, like the cherry on the cake, as you say in English. And it was just like a gift from heaven, having this third goal and having a 3-0 in a final was completely like a miracle. Made in hybrid, finished in Paris. The World Cup belongs to France. If you put all of the numbers together, France was not supposed to be winning this game, but I think the fact that it was in Paris, the overall atmosphere at the stadium just just brought them together and it just, they wanted to win and, and they did it. That was like a really cool moment because it was like every French uh, people, they, they were like uh, celebrating together and it was like a nation, uniting uh, nation. 
After years of waiting and wondering, now tears of pure joy. I remember so many horns and like the cars, so many shouts, so many screams. It was the one of the best nights of my life. Now the World Cup belongs to France, and it does so for the very first time. It was close to like the end of the world in terms of joy, in terms of emotion. It, it was honestly just one of the happiest nights I think we've ever experienced in France.